everyone, this is Pete with Looking Diecast, and today I'm really, really excited to show you a new Matchbox 5-pack. This one is just hitting the shelves, and I haven't seen much about it online. I've got the 2020 Matchbox Highway Speeder set, and it's coming your way. The artwork on the back of the package is very nice. We've seen this off-ramp before. Last time it was the Fiat in the MBX Highway 5-pack. This time it's that awesome Ford GT40. So sleek and so long that it can barely make the turn. It needs to use both lanes. This is the newer box style, so it shows the model names. We have the 56 Jaguar XK140 Roadster, Dodge Challenger SRT8, of course the Ford GT40, the Volvo P1800S, and the 2007 Subaru WRX Impreza. I'll take these from top to bottom. This first car, the 56 Jaguar XK140 Roadster, is the reason that a lot of us collect Matchbox. These faithful reproductions of old, classic, beautiful cars. This is only the third time we're getting one of these Jaguar XK140s. It debuted in black in 2018, it was a nice British racing green in last year's mainline. This time it's a creamy tan enamel. Just a wonderful choice of color. The base is gray plastic, and you can see the base is the bumpers. I think that's way better than bright silver chrome. It's more subtle, looks great. Front grille and headlights are painted. This is a great view of the detail on this casting. This is a Roadster, so it's an open cockpit. The plastic interior is super detailed. I hope you can see the gas, brake, and clutch are actually cast into the floor. And it looks like two little access hatches are cast in as well. Clever design and nice detail. Around back are more painted tail lights. The boot handle's painted and the license plate are painted. The tag says Jaguar 56. The window has just a touch of smoke tint and the wheels are ring desk with just the hub chromed. If you can't tell, I absolutely love this little car, and I think this release of it was extremely well done. Now we shift quickly from an old classic to a modern classic, the Dodge Challenger SRT8. This has been around a while, but it hasn't been around too much lately. It was in the 2017 mainline, but you have to go all the way back to 2012 to find more of these. I'm definitely excited to see that Matchbox decided to bring this one back for the highway speeders. This release has a metallic green paint job. There's a bit of yellow in there and has a really nice shine in the lights. The interior is black and I love the bucket seats and the windshield is a dark smoke tint. The wheels are those five spoke super fast chrome. This casting even has a moonroof. The front rear is where all the tampa work was done. The headlights and the front grille are painted. It even says Challenger and SRT8 in the grille. Looks awesome. The back is painted tail lights. The license plate says Dodge and the dual exhaust pipes are painted. I had to look at the exhaust closely. The pipes are actually part of the metal body and there's little cutouts in the plastic base for them. Interesting design feature that I wouldn't have noticed if they weren't painted. This next one is quickly becoming one of my favorites. This is the third time that I've opened this casting for the show. Once in the Globe Traveler's Premium Series, that is a great release in the Gulf livery. And earlier this year I opened one in the 2020 Candy Car set. I'll link to some of those videos at the end of this one. Matchbox has released several iterations of the Ford GT. This is manufacturing number 995 for those of you keeping score at home. It debuted in 2015, so it's the newest of the GT40 castings. This release is a metallic blue. I don't know who's heading up these 5-pack releases for Matchbox, but they should definitely be getting a bonus check this year. This is another fantastic looking car. The windows are lightly smoke tint, and the interior is very detailed. Interestingly, this casting is the only one in the set with right-handed drive. The tampa work on the hood is great. Painted tail lights and the GT40 in white on that black box. The fuel caps are even painted silver. Every time I see this casting, I admire the tooling work that was done to show all of the detail on the trunk and doors. The back shows an extremely detailed casting and simple painted tail lights and some more painted silver. It has cut tri-spoke wheels which this model almost always does. Absolutely a beautiful release of this car, and it's probably reason enough to purchase this five pack. 
If I was a Matchbox car, I would not want to be the car up next after the GT40. Let's see if this Volvo P1800S is up to the task. This casting originally released in 2010, but it absolutely disappeared after 2011. It had seven releases in two years, including two big promotional releases, and then it was just gone. Thankfully, they brought it back for this highway speeder set. I really, really like this casting. The Volvo P1800S is based on the 69 model, and it has that wonderful European styling from that era. The metallic paint is listed on the fandom website as mahogany red. I think that's about right. I would have guessed cranberry. No matter what you call it, it looks great. The windows let you see into the black interior. Kind of hard to get good photos of that interior. A view from the side lets us admire the detailed work on this design. There's side view mirrors, door handles, and detailed trim. The wheels are chrome ring disc, which is what you'd expect for a release of a car from this time period. Up front, you can see the base is the front bumper, and the way it juts out is very authentic to the original car. The Volvo emblem is on the hood, and the front grille is painted. Around back is more Tampa work. It has painted taillights, a trunk latch, and it even says Volvo, and has a tiny Volvo emblem. When you pick up this casting, it almost feels like you're holding a Lesney era matchbox. The model is right in that late 60s era, and it's very comparable to the type of vehicles that Matchbox released at that time. I would love to see this casting get a premium release. Last up is the Subaru Impreza WRX 2007. This is another older casting that hasn't been released too much. It came out first in 2008, but I think it's only appeared about five times. This release is in a metallic silver, and unlike all of the other cars in this set, it's loaded with tampos, so much so that it almost doesn't fit that well in with the grouping. On the side is a huge blue stripe with what almost looks like white stitching. I'm sure that on the actual vehicle it would be like a reflective material to alert drivers at night. It says Belize on the door and it says Fub Bomb Goss on the rear door. Forgive my poor German pronunciation, but I do know that it means off the gas. The car has a black interior, smoke tinted windows. This casting has actually been redone, I think, last year. The safety lights up top are part of the windshield piece, and the prior releases had those plastic lights that looked like they were glued on. So a bit of a retooling here on this release. The hood is painted blue, and again it has the police painted on it. The wheels are split 10 spokes in white, which to me look a little off. The split 10s are okay, they probably should have been black though. That's it, we made it through all five cars in this amazing set. This is another great example of the variety that Matchbox puts in a lot of these five packs. Roadsters, sports cars, police vehicles, antique, modern, there's something for almost all collectors here. I hope you enjoyed checking this five pack out. Of course, comments are definitely welcome, and I want to know which one of these are your favorites. I got plenty more good stuff to open, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the ride.